This is a new one for me. I've heard about the brand. I, I see they're aggressively advertising it on Cigar Aficionado. Looks like they're targeting a younger, hipper demographic. A little snug still, um, snugger than I thought it would be after the relight or after the light, and not as much smoke. Just real quick, uh, Hoya Red received a well-deserved 90 rating, uh, noting the lush draw of this cigar delivers a strong black pepper character that settles down to show notes of hickory, brown sugar, and earth. The hickory, that's, that's if it's true. If there's And when I get a cigar, I really want to find the best. And I want to be as kind as I can. I don't want to be too rough on it. I want to give it the benefit of the doubt. And I want it to do as well as possible. Because I want to find cigars. And, I've, you know, if I spent money on a cigar, and I, find, I want to find the cigars I want to buy more of or I want to recommend. The first few puffs, it's kind of bitter, and I am not using any weird kind of lighter. I'm just using a regular torch it's with butane. So this is 
it reminded me even more now of that Kentucky Fire that really kind of had a not a very good flavor and it had I think I had to relight that one too the cigars that score the highest for me tend to be the ones that never need relights they never get that bitterness or harshness after relight and they don't take knocks on flavor this one unfortunately has it's dropping quick <laughs> it's, it's a shame I really ate, I really wanted to like this um, but right now it's um, you know I, I can't say that I am all because first of all it's it's medium so it doesn't have a lot of the complexity in the, the, the a lot of the flavors that I've been liking lately Getting the final third, I'm probably going to end it here because I don't see anything really changing very much with it. Generous with the overall, which is 35 points, that I probably, uh, you know, if it does poorly in, in burn, which it did go out once, if it does poorly in taste, you know, the overall, the 35, I should probably shave off 10% or 15% of that. If it's like a B, you know, uh, on, on a grading scale. One thing I will correct is that they, at, uh, Drew Estate does not make this. They just distribute it in the United States. So, correction there. Thanks for uh, the correction with my cigar buddies out there.